chapter 5 and the secrets of chapter 5 is faith, power, and boldness. Powerful chapter. Now, let me give you a testimony here. And I go through this uh, in the book, but I want to give it to you because I want to build your faith. Back years ago, I would drive back and forth to Chicago. Uh, I'm in the insurance business, and I sell insurance. And so I, I live in the suburbs uh, near near Chicago. And uh, so I would pass this club all the time. Uh, it might have been a strip club. I don't know if it was a bar, a tavern. Uh, in my mind, I thought maybe, well, it, it looks like it could be a strip club, something really, really evil, you know. And I would drive by this, and I drove by it for years. And one day I got in my mind, and I just, I just all of a sudden, I said, and I pointed at it, you know, as I drove by, because, you know, back and forth to my route, my where my clients were in the south side of Chicago, I, I, uh, I pointed at that club, that tavern, and I said, burn down in the name of Jesus. And do not be rebuilt. And, and so I would do this time and time again. And I did this for weeks. It might have been a month or maybe two months. I don't remember how long. But And I would point at it. I would say, in the name of Jesus, burn down. And do not be rebuilt. One day I drove by there. And I could take you to the same location. Matter of fact, I could be there in 10 minutes from my house right now. But I, I drove by there one day, and there was a, a uh, just burnt, charred rubble. I mean, it was just all to the ground. That building had burned to the ground, literally. It, it was just, it was a mess. It was destroyed. I don't know what happened. Um but yeah, it happened exactly as I spoke. Now that might be hard for some to believe that don't understand the the power of the spoken word and faith in that spoken word. Now, months later, maybe a year later, uh, they had cleaned that off, of course, pretty quick. And it was just a, a clear spot. But a year, two years later, whatever it was, they didn't rebuild it. You know what was built there? A Burger King. And that Burger King still stands today. And I've ate from that Burger King. And so that's on the... It's in Hegwish. That's the very south side of Chicago. And uh, if you're familiar with uh, Chicago at all, you may have heard of that area. But uh, this is the thing. We, we do have power. And we, with faith, we could speak the word... And we could see God perform miracles. Why would God do that? Um, well, I trust that no one was hurt. I, I trust that no one died in that fire. <clears throat> and I have to believe that no one was injured at all. But I believe that it's, these things happen sometimes for the simple fact because God is honoring his word and he is proving something to us. Why? Because we're going to speak the word for greater things more important things than than seeing a tavern burn down and yeah are we just walking around trying to burn down taverns by speaking the word no that's not it at all but there is something about the spoken word of god and faith when we administer our faith with the spoken word something is going to happen now, if it's speaking the word of faith for a healing, if it's speaking the word of faith for someone to receive the Holy Ghost or some other type of miracle, Joshua looked up and said, Sun, stand thou still. And moon, don't you move from where you are. And uh, it did. Everything stopped. The whole universe stopped at that point because Joshua spoke a word of faith. He was bold. And he spoke it and he had faith. And when you're bold... And you speak that word of faith. Amen. God, oh, he gets his attention. It gets his attention. And he will work with you. So I want to encourage you with that. And uh, there's a link here on uh, right below where you can take a look at our website if you'd like to, charlesarotis.com, and learn more about what I've talked about here today in just these few minutes. All right? Well, God bless you. All right? We'll see you next time.